Welcome to Motoshi Harp Explorer. My name is Motoshi Kosako, harpist, composer, improviser. On this video series, I would like to share interesting cutting edge frontier of harp playing. Today's video, I would like to show you uh, how to play improvisation on a very simple piece of music like Amazing Grace. Simple means uh, structurally it's very short and then harmonic progression is very simple and also uh, you don't have any modulation uh, during a piece. To be able to play improvisation on uh, jazz standard tunes, uh, often you have to learn how to catch up with the uh, complicated modulation during the piece. But it requires um, like lots of pedal skills and also some music theory uh, knowledge. But that is not the most difficult part for the improvisation. For me, the most important and the most difficult part of the improvisation is play a good melody and good harmony uh, in a simple, on a simple structure. Actually, uh, the modulation means you do something uh, like this and one key, and then you move this thing to the other key. So and during the piece, you have to change their uh, keys. But what you have to do within that key, it's pretty much same to what you're doing in a simple piece of music. So uh, for me, it's always uh, important to go back to uh, play like a simple piece of music like Amazing Grace and then um, try a different way to approach the improvisation within that simple structure. So here is the chord progression of Amazing Grace I usually use. And as you see, we have only uh, one, two, three, four, four different chords on this piece. And the melody actually I didn't write down because it's so simple. Everybody knows the melody by heart. So anyway, what I do usually is memorize the flow of the harmony first. But actually, I don't memorize uh, literally like F, F, B flat, F. So I try to uh, understand the function of the chord. So this one is on key of F. So that means... Uh, so this is my pedal chart uh, board and it means everything is natural except B. So B is on the flat and then rest of the pedal is uh, natural. So you don't need to touch the pedal after you set the pedal like this. So key of F. and. So on key of F, F is a tonic, and B flat is subdominant, and C is dominant, um, and D minor is like a sixth, uh, sixth um, chord from the tonic. So, and then I use a modulation. Uh, so, sorry, um, I use the inversion uh, anywhere I feel like to. And sometimes I even change the chord a little bit, uh, adding the um, tension notes, or sometimes I use subdominant instead of or tonic or something like that. But pretty much I follow this structure. And once you memorize the flow of the harmony with the understanding of functions of the chord, uh, for example, I, today I play uh, Amazing Grace on F, but you can transpose into any keys very easily, especially this type of music. You don't need to change the pedal during the piece. An advantage of harp is no matter what key you're playing, fingering is always the same. So I will show some example. So this is a key of F and Amazing Grace. It goes like this. A 
and I can play this same piece on the G flat. And then probably, let's see, I can go to the A flat. So it's so easy on the harp if you change the pedal in the right way. If you mess up with the pedal, everything is ruined. But as long as you change the pedal in the right position, uh, uh, transposing piece is very, very easy. So when I learn um, these kind of simple pieces, I always try to be able to play in any keys. And sometimes you're getting tired of playing the same pieces over and over, and then you're running out of new fresh idea of improvisation. But if you play that on a different key, suddenly uh, we can find a new way to approach the piece of music. So that is the beauty of uh, simple music like this. So I would like to uh, demonstrate improvisation on Amazing Grace. So I hope you like it.
Thank you.